Welcome back everybody, this is Glockman4519. Uh, I'm back with another video. This is not a ROM review. But rather this is a uh, more of a tutorial on the 3 minute battery mod setting. Or the 3 minute battery settings app. Um, first off, we wouldn't have this app uh, if it wouldn't be for G. Harrington. Uh, it just wouldn't be here. Uh, that This man was the one that created it. Um, the guy's a genius. Uh, and pretty much ever since I uh, I rooted my, uh, my, my Note 2, uh, my Samsung Galaxy Note 2, um, and I knew, and I found out I could run this, I've been running it ever since. At least when I could. Uh, obviously, uh, the... ROM that you're running has to support it, okay? If your ROM does not support this, you are not going to be able to run it. Unless you go, and I'll show you where to go, and put a request in and have them build it for you. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what they had uh, in the app and kind of show you how and where to install it uh, and what to do, okay? Uh, first off, you have the color. What they are are white icons. You download them, they're white. Um, and you can color them whatever color you want. Uh, you can also offset the percentage, like you see my battery icon right now. Uh, it's got a nice green kind of a battery uh, thing uh, with white percentage in it. Well, in the colorable, you can color, color your battery to whatever color you want, and you can color the text to whatever color you want. You can make it so that when it reaches a certain percentage, it changes color. Uh, your, uh, your battery does. And it's, it's really cool, all right? And there's just no end to uh, the different um, battery icons that you, can, that you can download. And when I say there are a thousand, at least a thousand, uh, that's, that's not an exaggeration. And there's no way I can show them all to you, okay? There is one in here that would take <laughs> a long time for me to just scroll down through them and let you see them all. But I'm just going to kind of give you a, an idea of the different ones that are out there uh, that you can download. Um, they're, they're just kind of cool. Um, it's going to take a while. Man, there's a ton of them. As you can see, guys, it, it just goes on and on and on the different kind of uh, and flavors. This one here is the one that has the most. Is the uh, NAD... Uh, mad Madge, I guess. Um, then you have your offline. Uh, these are going to be the icons you get with the free version, okay? If you don't get the paid and you install the free uh, app, you are only going to get these. Or if your ROM doesn't, if it says it supports it and you download the um, uh, your uh, paid version from the uh, Play Store and it doesn't work, and if you load the resources uh, app like I'm going to show you, uh, these are going to be the ones that you'll be able to use, and only these. Uh, and there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, it's just the way the ROM's made and stuff like that. Um, I'll show you a couple of these. They're really cool. Uh, I think that's about enough. Let these load here real quick. Um, users. I mean, it's it's just it's just endless. Uh, you know the different kind of uh, battery, uh, you know, icons that you can throw on. Uh, Wii 360. They're more of like a Chrome type deal. X Chrome is another one that they're you know all Chrome looking. But that one I showed you that had just a ton of them. I mean, they have like. Uh, baseball logos and football team logos and hockey and just and Batman and it just goes on and on and on and of course um, this was a suggestion uh, that they bring back to the new uh, app because this app was updated the stored icons which I think is great if you have your favorites you already have them downloaded it's great you just go to here um, you know, and you, you can just pick uh, to the ones that you've already have stored, uh, and it'll change it instantly, just like that. Uh, I could go with that one. 
Um, I could go with more of a, a traditional look, but colored. Like that. Or if you like the bars, you know, the bar look. Like that. Um, if you like the loop looks. And so on, you know. Uh, let's go with a standard look and let's make it blue. Alright, we'll keep that one. Okay, how do you get this? Well, first thing you need to do is make sure your ROM supports the three-minute settings. Okay, guys, I can't stress that enough. Um, if it does, you type in three-minute battery settings in the Play Store. That's going to take you to this app. This is the paid version. All you do is download or, yeah, install it from the Play Store. It's that simple. Open it up, and if your ROM supports it, you are instantly going to be greeted with a different battery. It's going to come up with a, one of their batteries, and you can go into the settings like I showed you on my desktop and change it to whatever you want. It's that simple. There is nothing else you need to do. Now, what if your ROM developer says, we support the three-minute settings. You download that. And it doesn't work. Um, there's not much you can do. Uh, from the reading I've read uh, in all the threads I've been through, it's just it's a glitch. It happens in certain ROMs. Uh, it has to do with you know what features they add, this and that. There's not there's nothing you can do. Um, you can, however, most of the time, if they say they support it, you can load. Uh, this app right here, I will show you in my downloads folder. Uh, if I go to my downloads, you'll see it's called 3-Minute Battery Settings App. Okay, this is the free one. Um, it's shaped more like a battery instead of round, and it is free. Uh, where do you get that app? Uh, the best way to do that is go to the internet. Type in 3-Minute Battery APK Free, okay? Put the free in there. Uh, go down to the second post, because the first one's going to take you to the paid version uh, in the Play Store. So you want to go to the first one that's not the Play Store. It's right there. Click on it. Uh, we'll open it in Chromium. And it is actually going to take you to the XDA thread. Uh, of G. Harrington, which is the creator of this mod. Don't forget to thank him, guys. I at least register on XDA if you're not already, just to thank uh, G. Harrington for creating this awesome, awesome mod. I still think this is the best mod ever, ever created uh, for Android. I love it. Uh, scroll on down until you see Downloads. You're going to see App and Mod Smiley Files. Click on that. Now, it already says that I've downloaded. It's going to ask me if I want to. Um, I'm just going to X out because I've already downloaded. But, I, but you are going to go ahead and download it, okay? But I'm, I want to keep this video short. So go ahead and download it. Then go into your Downloads folder. And what you're going to be greeted with is a zip right here. See this zip? It's not going to have that app. Um, now, I'm in. Uh, I'm using the ES File Explorer, so uh, this File Explorer is able to uh, unzip zips, all right, or extract them. Uh, you want to be able to do that. So um, you want to go in. You want to hit uh, Extract to, and just click OK. That's going to create this folder here. 3-Minute Battery, Settings, Files, 2, okay? Open that up, and there's your app. It's that simple. And just click on that app right where it's at and click Install. If you click on it, it's going to ask if you want to install it. See? And go ahead and install it. Um, just install it like you would a normal app. And if uh, your ROM truly supports the 3-Minute Mod, it will at least give you the offline uh, batteries, which are about nine of them, uh, which I showed you. They're the ones that come up right off the bat. Those ones there, um, like I said, if, if, the, if the paid version doesn't work and they still say that your ROM supports it, download that zip, extract it, and then install that app. And it should at least give you the offline version, okay? 
Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I am going to show you um, one more thing. If you go to my Google Plus community, uh, and I always have links to my community in every single video, all right? If you go down to the description, it'll give you a link to my community. All right, you go to my community. There is the first page. Click on the top arrow to read my, if you want to read it, my introduction to the community, my rules, uh, basically be nice to each other, you know, and, and the whole nine yards. Uh, you'll see I have some uh, links. Uh, I haven't updated them in a while, but there are some links. Uh, the very first link there is for the three-minute battery mod for the Nexus 6. If you click on that, that is going to take you to the uh, Nexus 6 3-minute battery mod settings. Now this is run by Search um, 826. Uh, it was started by, um, oh my god, let me scroll down here and see if they have his name, because I, I know I'm going to forget it. <clears throat> um, it's going to be down here a ways, but I, I want to show it to you guys. You need to know who all is involved in it. Uh, number one, G. Harrington, he, if it wouldn't be for him, we wouldn't have this app, okay? Um, Jolly Rogers uh, used to maintain this for a while, too. He did a lot of contributing to this. Uh, B-Door, uh, 1105, was one that originally created this uh, thread. Uh, he passed it on to uh, T.W. Cobra for a while <laughs> and to search 826. Um, but they all, all these guys are just good guys. Um, T.W. Cobra, search 826, B-Door, uh, Jolly Rogers Hook, they've all made zips for me. Uh, they're outstanding individuals. Uh, guys, if you if you get them to do some work for you, consider donating. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot, you know, it's work. They have to do it. But, like I said, you go to this thread and put a request in. Now, what do you need to put a request in? Well, you need three things. Let's go home and I'll show you. Uh, what you're going to need is... If you go into your File Explorer, I recommend ES File Explorer. Uh, it, you need to grant it root permission. You need to go into your device. Go to System, Framework, and Framework Res APK. Just copy that. Don't, uh, don't cut it you know, or, or take it out of there. Just copy it to another folder somewhere where you can access it. Okay, I copied it to another folder. I'll show you later here. Uh, then you also want to go to Privy App. You want to get down to System UI APK, or System UI, and then you want to copy the System UI APK to the same place that you copied that framework, or framework Res APK to, okay? Now, I copied them to a file I just I named, whoops, I named mine, all right? Just keep it simple. There they are. Now, you could actually uh, create a folder and call it um, uh, three minute, all right? And we'll call it DU, even though uh, you don't need it because Dirty Unicorn's already set up for it, okay? Um, now, we're going to copy this. And I'm going to move this into that folder so I can keep track of them. Move to the, uh, move to mine. Let me find it here real quick. Whoops. And three minute DU. Okay. Now, the next thing I uh, suggest you do is go to your Google Drive. Okay. If you don't have it, install it. Um, and uh, they have a portion in there called shared folders. Uh, you want to create a folder in there. Just name it uh, three minute and the name of your ROM, okay, just so you know where it's at. Then you want to go in here, and you want to click on them both, and you want to say share. Uh, <laughs> and I don't have my drive installed. Can you believe that? But anyways, pick, uh, I just loaded this ROM, guys, but pick um, Google Drive, or if you have a mega account, go ahead and, and put it to your mega account, okay? Click that. And I'm not going to log in. All right, guys. But anyways, you get the gist. Upload it to Google Drive or a Mega account. 
Uh, once you have it completely uploaded, you want to go to your Google Drive or your Mega account, and you want to copy the link to that shared folder, and you want to paste it to the XDA thread where you make the request. It's that simple. They also need a link to the ROM that you want to install it on. They, a lot of times the developers like to install the ROM uh, or tear the ROM apart and look at the system UI and make sure that it's not already there. Uh, plus some of them like to test it, okay? Guys, that's it. You need the uh, system UI, uh, APK, your frameworks, res, APK. Uh, upload them to a, uh, a place, even Dropbox will work, um, to a place where uh, you can give the developers a link and you also need to give them a link to the ROM you're running. It's that simple. They will give. They will make you a zip. You download that zip, uh, boot to recovery, and just flash it in recovery. It, and then just reboot your device. It's that simple. There's nothing more to it. Um, well, guys, I don't know much more that I can tell you uh, on the three-minute mod except for, it. like I said, it's probably the most coolest mod. Listen to me. I can't even talk right. The most coolest. It is the coolest mod that I've ever seen come out for uh, Android. I love it. Um, if I could put it on every single device I own, I would. But unfortunately, there are a lot of my devices that just do not support this. Uh, and I am not, I cannot decompile or work with um, Lollipop and Up. <laughs> I'm. If it was KitKat, yes, I can do that. Lollipop and Up, I'm lost. So these guys really are a big help. I'm going to try to put as many links as I can in the description for you guys. Um, again, I know this uh, video is only going to, going to appeal to uh, a few people out there. Um, but again, guys, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I do want to thank all of my subscribers, and I will see you on the next one.